unit conversions. I'm including these so that you don't have to look them up on Google or Yahoo or wherever. So we are trying to convert 1,008 square inches into how many square feet? So what you need to do is you need to set this up as a fraction and then you need to insert that as another fraction, whichever one of those you need. So I'm going to start out by 1,008 over 1. I have square inches, so I'm going to write that as inches squared. And I need to convert that into feet squared. So I look here, I see inches and feet. I have a conversion factor to use. So I'm going to set this up here. I have inches. I want to get rid of inches. So the first thing I do is insert my unit so I know where to put the number. I want to go from inches to feet. I have that conversion factor. So I do that. Once I have my units in, then I'm allowed to put my numbers in. So inches gets the number 12. Feet gets the number 1. I have to do this twice because this is squared. So I have to square that also. So multiply the top, multiply the bottom, get my answer. So I have 1,008 over 144 feet squared. I grab my calculator, I type that in, figure out what the number is. One o o eight divided by one four four equals seven. So my answer is seven feet squared, which is the same as if I were to say seven square feet. And it's either one. You don't have to write both. It's one or the other, whichever one you like to use. So it's your choice, but only one answer. Now, for some people, because that square is there, it might not make so much sense to you. So I'm going to write this out a different way. I have my 1,008 inches squared. Instead of writing that as just inches squared, I'm going to write it as inches times inches, because that's what the squaring means. Still putting it over 1, so I have a fraction to work with. Then I open my conversion factor. I still have to use my 12 inches as 1 foot. I still have to say inches is there on the top, so I need to put inches on the bottom to cancel out that inches. I go to feet. have that one canceled out. I still have this inches though, so I have to do it again. Now that one's canceled out. Now I have my answer feet times feet or feet squared, square feet. So now I can fill in my numbers. One foot is 12 inches, one foot is 12 inches. Make sure you put the right number with the right unit. Get over here to my answer. 1,008 times one times one, 1,008. Units, inches gone, inches gone, feet, feet. So I have feet squared. On the bottom, I have 1 times 12 times 12 gives me 144. Units, no units, that's gone, that's gone, no units to put on the bottom. So then I take the 
1008 divided by 144, I get 7. So there's the same answer, just writing it a different way. If you need to, write it out this way, rather than make a mistake. Moving to my second problem here. Two square yards is how many square inches? So I'm going to do it up there. Same way that I did it up there with the other one. Two square yards. That goes on my top. Put it over one so I have a fraction. I want to get rid of yards. So since it's on the top, I put it on the bottom to get rid of it. I want to go to inches, so I need to find my conversion factor from yards to inches. This one has one yard, it's 36 inches, so I want to use this one. I have my units in there. I have one of the yards canceled, but I have a second yard here, so I need to square it. I can put my units in, one yard, one goes with yard, so make sure you put it with the right unit, 36 inches, multiply the top, so that's going to be 2 times 36 times 36 inches times inches, over 1 times 1. So I need to grab my calculator and type that in. 2 times 36 times 36 equals 2592. Double check to make sure I typed it right. 2 times 36 times 36. Because this calculator doesn't have the uh, view of the what you typed in. So 2592 inches squared. And there is that answer. So again, what might mess you up with this is because we have that square there, we need a square there, which means we need to take this times itself. And if it helps you, write this twice to make sure that you get it right. Looking at the next one, 10 feet per second is how many miles per hour? So with this, you need to know that this word per, that is your fraction bar. So when I write this, I want to write it with the 10 and the feet on the top, my word per is the fraction bar, and the seconds on the bottom. If there's no number given, remember you can multiply anything times 1, and it does not change it. You can also divide anything by 1, it doesn't change it. So 10 divided by 1 is still 10. Over on the other side here, I want to end up with miles per hour. I'm going to make a little room here for my work. I want miles on the top because the, it's before the word per. The word per is my fraction bar. Hours on the bottom because it's after the word per. Now I need to figure out what my conversion factors are. So I'm going to start out. I have feet on the top. I want to get rid of it. So because it's on the top, I put it on the bottom. I want to end up with miles. So I look through my conversion factors. I have feet. I have miles. So there's my unit. I can go straight there. Now that I have my units written in, I need to write in my numbers. 
one mile, 5280 feet. I'm not there yet because I still have seconds. So I need to get rid of the seconds somehow. It's on the bottom of the fraction, so to cancel it out, I need to put it up on the top. If you think about it, think about a clock. You have 60 seconds in a minute. So I know how to go from seconds to minutes. I know that I have 60 seconds is one minute. So seconds is canceled out. But I have minutes. I want to have hours, so I'm not there yet. I need to go a little bit further. I need to get rid of minutes. Since it's on the bottom, to cancel it, I need to put it on the top. Think about a clock again. So 60 minutes is one hour. I know how to do that. I have the minutes is canceled by minutes. I'm left with hours and miles. So that is what I want, miles and hours. Now I multiply the top, I multiply the bottom, and I divide it out at the end. So I have 10 times 1 times 60 times 60. 10 times 60 times 60. I have 1 times 5280 times 1 times 1. So that's only one number. 5280. I grab my calculator, I type it in, I figure out my answer. And I have 6.81818181, etc. So this is going to be 6.8 miles per hour. When you are doing this on your test, make sure that you include that miles per hour, because if you don't include that miles per hour, it is wrong. Depending on your teacher, you may get zero credit for that answer if you don't have miles per hour with the right number. Now we're going to do 50 miles per hour going to feet per second. So we're going the other way around. So I have the 50 miles per hour. I may as well draw that fraction bar all the way across because I'm going to have to use it a couple of times. Okay. I want to go from miles to feet. So I look through my things, I see one mile, 5280 feet, okay. So I can do it straight. Miles is on the top. I need to put it on the bottom here. So the one goes with the miles, so that one goes on the bottom. The 5280 goes with feet, so that goes on the top. I have hours. I want to get rid of hours, so I put it on the top. Can I go directly from hours to seconds? If you know that conversion, go for it. If you don't, 
go from hours to minutes. So I have my miles canceled, I have feet there, I have my hours canceled, I have minutes. I want to get all the way to seconds, so I have to cancel the minutes. I know how to go from minutes to seconds. So minutes is canceled and I have seconds. Okay, so now I know I have feet per second. I'm good to go. I have to throw in my units or my numbers with my units. One hour, 60 minutes. One minute is 60 seconds. Make sure you put the right number with the right unit. Multiply the top. So I have 50 times 50 to 80 times 1 times 1. My units canceled, feet canceled, canceled. On the bottom, my numbers first. I have 1 times 60 times 60. So I'm going to do that in my head. Units canceled, canceled, canceled seconds. Double check, make sure we have the right units at the end. I want feet per second, I have feet per second. Good. So now I need to grab my calculator and type that stuff in. 50 times 5280 divided by 3600 equals 7.3 and the 3 is repeating so my units are feet per second calculator usage when you are typing this in, if you have not multiplied those right away and you have on your calculator, or you have to type on your calculator, 50 times 5280 divided by 60 times 60, you must, if you want to type it in all at once, put parentheses around the stuff on the bottom of the fraction. And then you can type it in just like any normal thing. If you do not put the parentheses around there and you put a time sign in there, you're going to get the wrong answer. So make sure you include those parentheses. Or multiply it first to get just one number on the bottom and then do all this stuff on the calculator. Last problem for this set. Two cubic yards is how many cubic inches? I'm going to line this up the long way. Cubic means to the third power. So this is saying the same as 2 yards to the third power equals how many inches to the third power. So you can do it that way if you want to. More power to you if you can. Set it up. Yards on top over 1. I'm going to do this the long way. So yards times yards times yards. I need to get rid of yards and I need to go to inches. There it is. So since yards is on the top, I put it on the bottom and I can go directly to inches. Let's cancel that one out. still have yards written two more times, so I need to do it again. Yards to inches. So let's cancel that one out. So I have one more to get rid of. So 
So I'm going to cancel that one out. So now I've canceled all of my yards out. I can write my numbers in. One yard, 36 inches. So one and 36. Put the right number with the right unit. So one goes with the yards, 36 goes with the inches. Repeat that over and over. Multiply the top, 2 times 36 times 36 times 36. My units, cancel, 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 inches, inches, inches. Multiply the bottom, 1 times 1 times 1 times 1, 1. Look at my units, none, canceled, canceled, canceled. Nothing is left on the bottom. I don't need to write a bottom for my fraction. So now I need to figure out what that is. This calculator has a has an exponent button, but I have to do that exponent before I can do the other stuff. And then I have to multiply the 2 into that because this thing doesn't know the order of operations, so I have to tell it what to do first. So I have 9,000, no, nope, 93,312. Ninety three thousand three hundred twelve cubic inches. And these are finished.